Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at GoBudgie OS. Now it's based on Linux, specifically Ubuntu 18.04, that is the development branch which is interesting. Its target market appears to be users of Android devices. As you can see here, this menu is very reminiscent of some Android tablet apps menus. It has the Chrome OS web store built in and this is quite interesting because as you can see the icon says that it is the Chromium OS web store which is a different thing um, but the actual app itself identifies as the Chrome OS web store hmm, a bit curious anyway it has uh, .exe compatibility as it comes with the Wine Windows program loader and play on Linux and it appears to be a rolling release by the name of the ISO file which is gobudgie rolling 18 02 08. So, I hope you enjoy this video today and let's begin. Right, so this is what we are greeted with on first boot. So it goes straight to a live uh, desktop environment, so it doesn't actually install anything. Let's just go ahead and log in. Right, so here we are at the desktop, everything's loaded. Um, now, as I said in the opening intro, um, it has got this, well, this menu over here called like Slings Cold, which is quite a funny name. Um, and to me anyway, it does remind me of an Android tablet that I brought a while ago. I mean, it was only a budget one. I believe it was um, a Lenovo Tab 9, I think it was. Um, but yeah, it does remind me of that quite a lot, just by the way it is transparent. Um, and I mean, it looks really nice. I like how it's got this sort of black effect that comes down halfway. And then it's got this sort of error effect in the background. Yeah, so that looks really nice, and especially as it takes colours out of the icons um, to well, display them, I suppose. I believe this here is GNOME software. Ooh, System Problem Program Detected. Well, System Program Problem Detected, rather. Shall we send it? Authenticate. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Authenticate. How, how has that failed? Because this is, well, it isn't installed and I, I haven't set password. That's really weird. Oh well. Um, right, we'll put that away for the moment. And as I say, I noticed that it's got GNOME software, which is this one here, which um, I believe is in Ubuntu. Here it is. Right, so that's GNOME software. Um, which is funny because I didn't think this was based on GNOME. Um, unable to download firmware updates. That's probably because, as I said earlier on at the start of this video in the opening intro, uh, down here in details, as you can see, this is the 1804 development branch. So they've probably cut off updates for it, as uh, soon as it's an old beta version. Just like Windows does, for instance. Um, so yeah, anyway, I mean, that's funny because we've got this one here, and we've got, well, I presume it's the Chromium Web Store here. Hmm. Well, as you can see, that loads up nicely anyway, and I don't want a password for new key ring. Thank you very much. Right, so here's the Chrome Web Store. I don't know how they've managed to actually install the Chrome Web Store on an Ubuntu-based distro because obviously, well, Chrome OS, that is based on Linux. So, yeah, it's quite interesting that they've got both the Ubuntu Software Center and um, the Chrome OS one anyway. So we've got, I believe that is a terminal by the icon. Um, yes, it is. So let's just type something in, shall we? Right, so that appears to be working properly. 
And I wonder what this is up here. Is that shut down? Oh no, that is... Oh, that's interesting. So we've got another menu here. So as well as this one, the sling hold one, we've also got one up here. Hmm, how very weird. Oh well. Right, so the terminal works properly, as you can see. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a really interesting distro. As well as this, we've also got WPS, which I'll open WPS Writer up. Accept the agreement. Right. Ooh. No, let's not update to the new one. Um, problems detected with the system. Some formula symbols might not be displayed correctly. Yeah, so as you can see, this one looks very reminiscent to Microsoft Office, which is very nice indeed. Um, and they've got quite a nice menu there. That reminds me of Office 2007, that one. Well, this menu anyway. So that's WPS Office for you. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry. As well as this, we've also got a... <coughs> I've got a cough now. Well, it's getting to winter. I've permanently got a cough over the winter. Um, anyway, so here is um, the file manager. And it, I mean, it does look very nice. I've also noticed notice this bit over here. Uh, that's nice and transparent when you put it over the background there, look. There's that Kodak tower in the background. Um, yeah, so I mean, this looks very nice indeed. Uh, and I'll close out of that. So, I mean, that pretty much rounds up for this video. As I say, I could just have a quick look in the settings. Background. Shall we see what backgrounds I've got? So these are all sort of Windows 80 Metro-y sort of themes they've got here. This one, in a way, reminds me... Well, it sort of did, but now it doesn't. Um, that almost reminded me of the Windows XP Bliss theme. Because <laughs> it's got that hill in the background and the sun and the clouds and all that. I quite like that. And I especially find it funny how, like, this one is the default um, background theme and uh, that's the default lock screen one so it's sort of sunset on the lock screen and it's um, sunrise on um, the desktop background so I think that's quite nice actually no, nice little touch there actually um, yeah so I believe that is pretty much it um, I mean it's a very nice looking operating system and the thing is, I mean, I tried earlier on to get it to install, like, um, with that boot screen, which should be on screen now, um, with that boot screen, I did actually manage to get that uh, to freeze for a minute, but it's got no options to actually install the system. I believe the only other option is for it to be booted off of a ROM, which is weird. Um, that's like an android -y thing. But yeah, um, I mean, it's a really nice system. And it looks like they stopped developing it. Because, as you know, the ISO file, if the date on that is correct, then they stopped it in February. So, yeah, well, that's February of 2018. I do hope they pick up on this again. Because it's a nice looking system. And I like the idea of having an android -y style system. Um, that is based on Linux because then that can draw more people in who like Android so anyway I wish them all the best with the development on this system um, it is very nice I mean there's still a few things which I haven't explored like oh this does remind me of Ubuntu Budgie this bit because that's like notifications and it's got a calendar there and all sorts yeah that's very Ubuntu Budgie-esque so yeah, that, that's very nice indeed. And so, as I say, that rounds it up for this video. I do hope you all enjoyed it very much. And if you did, you can support my channel, not by giving it any money, but by simply subscribing to it. So, until next time, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening. And I wish the developers of this operating system the very best for the future. And 
please pick it up again because it's a really nice system. So until next time, hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye.